since the uh, last video that I put out on the uh, cucumbers that I'm growing, they have grown immensely. And so I just wanted to do a quick update and show you how quickly cucumbers can take over. So let's take a quick look at those right now. The two foot by two foot uh, grow area up to about uh, three foot by three foot is uh, a niche uh, that I tend to specialize in. It uh, accommodates uh, quite a few vegetable uh, plants, tomatoes, cucumbers, um, summer squash. I've been able to uh, even do some of the coal crops such as kohlrabi and uh, cauliflower and broccoli. And in this uh, particular setup, I typically use 100 watt full spectrum LED grow lights. On the left, uh, tomatoes, but on the right hand side, the cucumbers I was telling you about. Aside from the uh, vines getting quite a bit longer, I've seen dozens and dozens of blooms and the Piccolini uh, cucumber is parthenocarpic. So most of these uh, blooms you see are going to turn into cucumbers. If you were to take a closer look, you'd see that uh, a lot of the tiny cucumbers start out a, in a size that is about uh, that big and the blooms on the end eventually will uh, drop off. But uh, since they uh, do not require pollination, that's no big deal. And the biggest thing that you'll want to notice is that they tend to form all over the vines. And if you do not have a larger grow container like the uh, one that I'm using that's over six gallons, you may want to come in and selectively uh, take off a few of those so the plant can concentrate all the nutrients into making larger cucumbers and not uh, just making an abundance of small uh, cucumbers that never ever uh, go to maturity. But there's uh, easily one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's uh, 16, gosh, there's, there's 16 or so uh, little cucumbers just in this spot. And there are two um, plants that are in this container and they are just continually um, pumping out cucumbers. Now, from this stage, what you'll want to see is cucumbers that are starting to become of size. And the reason for that is when you start to see cucumbers that are swelling up, that tells you that everything is going well and that your seeds are true. The Piccolini variety, uh, I've gotten one already that uh, was uh, quite uh, overgrown compared to what it should be. And why is it overgrown? It was probably about uh, Six, six and a half inches long. Here's another one that uh, I picked and that's about the perfect size. Uh, this will be something that uh, you don't even have to uh, peel. You could just uh, slice that right up. They're fairly seedless and uh, quite tasty. I like to uh, take the ones that are about like this uh, and slice those, uh, dip those into like a vegetable dip. Uh, sometimes I've e even made flat slices, uh, buttered bread, and made a uh, cucumber sandwich. It's not always the uh, front of the plant or top that uh, bothers me. Oftentimes you have to look on the back of your container. So if you want to see one of the uh, leaves that has overgrown i'll try to get in here and maybe pinch that off <clears throat> probably butchering this i probably should have used scissors or something but uh, you could tell that this is one of the older leaves and if you were to look closely 
you could tell that uh, there's a little bit of nutrient issue and also on the edges as the uh, leaf has grown bigger. Um, if I had better water quality, this may not be happening. The nutrients seem to be uh, an adequate choice. I'm still using the Foliage Pro 936 uh, Complete Nutrient from Dynagro. And I've not had a problem with that. The plants look quite healthy. Um, this is a ratio that if you were to break it down, it would be a 312. And that is often found in the uh, lab analysis uh, for like the uh, plant material. I'm trying something different too. Uh, this is a Blink indoor camera and I have it uh, pointed towards the uh, bigger cucumber that I showed you a little bit earlier. And I'm hoping to do a uh, time lapse with pictures to show you how quickly these uh, cucumbers grow. And I'd like to show you why you should always check the back of the containers too because some of these vines will uh, continue to grow down where you wouldn't think they would be. And, you know, just take a quick look at that. There's uh, cucumbers that are forming all over that vine. The issue that I have is sometimes uh, there's cucumbers that are forming on the back of the plant. And if I miss these and they get larger, uh, what happens is they start to signal the vines to stop producing if they are allowed to just keep growing. Um, the optimal size for these uh, Piccolino uh, cucumbers is pretty close to this size, maybe just slightly larger. So let's go ahead and get that pulled off and we will uh, add that to tonight's dinner and just wanted to let you know that uh, it is a good idea to check your vines for cucumbers on a regular basis. So like I mentioned, I will prune vines and oftentimes I will just take the uh, remnant and I'll bring it back around and just lay that over the top, try to spread the leaves out uh, so that each vine has a lot of leaves that are able to get uh, photosynthesis done. Seems to be a little craziness, but uh, trust me, it, it all works out. And so I find that uh, growing cucumbers indoors uh, often is a uh, little dance between uh, pruning uh, vines, taking off old leaves, and keeping the plants picked as well as water top off and I feed my plants probably about every 30 to 45 days. So a good rule of thumb is uh, the number of gallons that you add as top off water, keep track of that. So if you add 10 gallons over that time period, add the amount of food that would correspond to 10 gallons and that should have a healthy plant for you. So those are my tips for cucumber growing indoors in small spaces. Uh, some people will talk about bush cucumbers, but I've not run across any of those that are parthenocarpic. I would say that you'll probably want to stay with smaller parthenocarpic uh, cucumber varieties. Uh, stay away from larger ones such as Sweet Success, which I grew outdoors and the vines easily uh, were 20 feet long and the uh, fruits were about uh, 14 to 16 inches in length. Quite a massive plant. Uh, Ithaca, I would not suggest for growing indoors either. Uh, varieties such as Isnik, Piccolini, Quick Snack, uh, those are probably the ones that you want to uh, lean towards in terms of growing indoors. So thanks for watching. As always, happy gardening.